Well, here we have it. The 1000 watt off-road e-scooter from iScooter. Let's have a look at the specs. Let's start off with the functionality. Well, straight off, you can see that this scooter has been designed for off-road use. It's got good ground clearance, chunky tires, and a thousand watt motor. It's got three modes. It's got an eco mode, a normal mode, and a turbo mode. So the turbo mode suggested for when you're off-road riding. When it's unlocked, you'll get about 48 kilometers an hour. That's about 28 miles an hour. And the range is about the same, 48 kilometers or 28 miles, depending on how you ride it, what your weight is, and indeed the terrain you're using it on. Now, before I got this scooter, I'd done a little bit of research on iScooter. I joined their Facebook groups and asked some questions, and they seem to be quite well respected within the e-scooter community. And they also put a 12-month warranty on any of their products. Now, this iX6 comes in at about £699, but by the time this video goes live, there may be a discount code below, so keep a lookout for that. The battery is sealed within this scooter. It's a 48 volt, 17.5 amp hours, and it takes between seven to nine hours to fully charge. This unit came with a European plug and a UK plug. And the iX6 has also got a smart battery management system. And as you can see there, it's got quad suspension, two on the rear, two on the front. Now, initially I found this suspension to be a little bit stiff out of the box, but it's fully adjustable. So I just tweaked it down a little bit and softened up that suspension, which makes it a better ride. The mud guards are flexible ABS, which is great to see for an off-road vehicle because the metal mud guards had a tendency to crack and break. This handlebar is completely adjustable. Just undo the locking pin and up and down it goes. And it's worth noting that you have to have this in the right position when folding it in order to locate with the clamp there. And then just securely clamp that into place. Perfect. Another lovely addition to this scooter, it's got two NFC cards, so you don't need an ignition key. NFC means near field communication. So all you've got to do is touch the card close to the screen and everything boots into life. So let's have a little talk about some of the features on this iX6. Well, it's got a lovely ambient lighting board which comes on when you turn the lights on. Talking about lights, it's got LED lights front and rear, brake lights and even indicators. Build and construction. Well, apparently this iX6 is made from aircraft grade aluminium. So I'm guessing it's gonna be up to the job. And here you'll see two screws. Now they're for an additional seat post, which you can buy from iScooter. So the seat post just bolts on there and you can sit on the scooter and travel in comfort. But I think for me personally, I don't need the seat. I just need the board to stand on. I spoke to iScooter about the hill climbing capabilities of the iX6 and they said in turbo mode, it's about 35%, so I guess it's gonna go up some inclines and not others. I guess we've just gotta be realistic about its capabilities. 120 mil mechanical vented discs on the front, 120 mil mechanical vented discs on the rear. But because it's a rear hub driven motor, the motor acts as a brake when you come off the throttle. It's actually nice to see the front brake on the right and the back brake on the left. And that way, Mr. Dead doesn't pay you a visit. Well, that's some of the features covered. Let's have a talk about the screen and the functionality. If this video is bringing you any interest or entertainment, it would be great if you could give us a thumbs up or even subscribe and we can test some more tech together. So how do we start it up? Just get one of the NFC cards, hold it against the back of the screen and it all comes to life. So here we have the, the speed, the voltage, the battery level, the myelometer, and we've got our power output. At the moment it's on P, so if you just press the plus, it goes to eco, once more, it goes to normal, 
and press it once more and it goes to turbo. This is your lights on or off. This is your horn. Oh, good horn on that one. This is the M where you press and hold it and go into all the different features where you unlock it, etc., etc. So all in all, quite a comprehensive setup there. And there's your indicators just underneath there. And the throttle is a thumb throttle and it's on the opposite side. I really do like these locking clamps on the handlebars. It gives me great confidence when I'm using it because they're not going to drop down. They're really, really tough. Screw them up, lock them tight, and they're going absolutely nowhere. There's one thing worth noting when setting this iScooter iX6 up for the first time. In the default mode, it's got the throttle mode as active. Now that means when it's switched on, if you press the throttle, it will shoot forward and you will go into the fish tank. So what you need to do is go into the menu and set the throttle so it needs motion before it works. For example, to get going, you just need to push with your foot, get some forward motion, then the throttle will activate. Little tip there, don't make the same mistake I did. So how do I think this iScooter iX6 is gonna help me with my metal detecting? Well, as we've talked about in previous videos, it's gonna be great from going from field to field, exploring farms, going down tracks, places where you can't get your four before. It's a stealth mode, it's lovely and quiet, and of course, this has got the off-road capabilities. I think I need to point out, guys, when iScooter have labelled this iX6 as an off-road scooter. I think they were referring to the fat tyres, the ground clearance and the suspension. It's certainly not going to be powerful enough to pull you through a muddy, boggy track or get you up a steep hill. I think it's more suited for stony roads and wooded tracks, things like that, where the ground is solid underneath the wheels. So as detectorists, it's not gonna get us in and out of difficult situations, that's for sure. I think if we had something like a 2,500 watt motor, that would be perfect, but they're not out yet, but who knows what the future's gonna bring. So how am I gonna carry my metal detector and spade on a scooter? We've seen how it's done on an e-bike. So what about the scooter? Simple. Obviously my metal detector goes into the rucksack, no problem at all but I've also got a telescopic spade, which also fits into the rucksack. So I've got everything I need on my back. So how easy is this iX6 to fold up? Let's do it. First of all, we undo the locking clamps on the end of the handlebars. You don't have to do this, but for smaller vehicles, it's worth it. Just press the button and then just fold them down. You can pull the spring back and it's done. So that's your handlebars folded. And then we undo the locking screw until it clicks, just a little bit more, and then just fold the handlebars down and it fits into that little rear locking tab. And that's it, you're all folded up, ready to go. Just flick the stand up and put it in the car.